In December, the University of Cincinnati agreed to remove the name of Charles McMicken, who was a slave owner from the school's College of Arts and Sciences. But his name is still engraved on many structures throughout the campus. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller met once again with the student pushing the university to finish what it started. Earlier this year, these digital displays were put in place. They break down and put into context who Charles McMicken was and why his name is etched throughout campus. Maurice Stewart, an alum, says more can be done. Over the years, learning who Charles McMicken was, I decided, you know, I didn't want his name on my degree anymore. When we last met Maurice Stewart, he was asking the university to remove the name Charles McMicken from his diploma. He wasn't alone. There was already a committee exploring options for the name's removal. It was decided then by the university's board of trustees to remove the name from the college, but that name wasn't removed completely from the university. The McMicken name would stay on buildings and structures throughout campus. At that point, I, I was okay with the, the steps that they made. Okay. You know, I think it was a great step forward. But with, considering what has happened in this country, you know, with George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, um, Amal Aubrey, um, I think the university has even more of a step to take. He says that step is removing the name completely from the campus. Uh, as an African-American student, I shouldn't have to walk in and see, oh, this is a the name, building's named after a slave owner, regardless of the context, especially if the university is, is dedicated to uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. He emailed the university's president asking for those changes and received this response. The board did vote to remove Mars Schott's name which we all know the history of March shot. Um, they did say, uh, state that progress, but said at this time that removing the name from the college was all that they were gonna do at this time. And I have been reaching out to the university since Friday to see if there are any talks about removing McMicken's name. I have not yet received a response. On UC's campus, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.